I think it's time that I change a few things. So, uh, let's talk about it. Everyone, I'm Cole Caparoon. Thank you for stopping by for another video. Uh, normally I have these sort of videos bullet pointed out like in a note on my phone so that way I can stay on track and explain stuff in the order that I feel they need explained. But I didn't do that on this one and uh, I'm just gonna kind of freestyle this with you guys. Now I, I hope it's no secret that my goal for this channel is literally to be the mentor that I never had. Uh, I came up without a mentor, without anyone showing me anything. My very first session on Pro Tools, the engineer was like, okay, uh, F12's how you hit record, see ya. Uh, that's the level of mentorship that I had in the studio world. And I think my career trajectory would have went a lot faster had I had a real mentor. And so my thought behind this channel, my idea, my goal, honestly, is to just be the mentor that I wish that I would have had. And, and if you watch every video on the channel, when you're done with them, you will, need, you will know everything that you desperately need someone to show you or teach you. Now, at the same time, I also knew that I wanted to have a very broad musical channel because I didn't want to reach the end very quickly. If I just did mixed tutorials and that was the only sort of thing that I posted, uh, I'd be out of ideas, you know, in a year or a year and a half, and then the channel would be over and I'd be on to something else. And I, and I knew going into this that I didn't want that to happen. And so in order for that not to happen, I had to cover a whole bunch of things, music business stuff, how to run a studio, how to promote yourself, mixed tutorials, gear reviews, like all of it. But the gear reviews is something that I need to change. And I'm really not a fan of making videos telling people what I'm gonna do. Like this is the first sort of video like this I've ever done. I don't make videos telling people what I'm gonna do. I just show myself doing it. And to be honest with you, it's kind of been an annoyance of me when people post about, or when they just constantly talk about all the things they're gonna do, their plans going forward. And I'm just, uh, just, just do it. Like just, just do it and show people. But I felt like this video was necessary to make because there needs to be kind of a fundamental shift in how I do gear reviews. Coffee. Now this is not to say that I'm walking back anything that I've ever said about any piece of gear. Every piece of gear you see me review on this channel, I still believe all the things that I've said about those pieces of gear, and I still have or use just about everything, minus maybe two things, that you've ever seen me review on this channel. But I've always come at these gear reviews from the angle of, how does it suit me and my workflow? And does it solve a problem for me that I need solved? That's literally been my angle on these reviews. And if I want to keep doing them, I think that needs to change. Because it's getting to the point where I, I don't have a lot of holes to fill. I don't have a lot of problems that I'm trying to solve anymore. Partially because my mixing skills continue to get better every single song, but also partially because I've been collecting gear for a long, long time, and I'm just, it's getting less and less common that something is a serious game changer for me. And that used to kind of be the premise. I would only make videos on gear that is like really a game changer for me personally, or that really like did something for my mixes that I'd never had a piece of gear do before. And I've been struggling with this a little bit because how do I continue to make gear reviews if this is the case? And honestly, I've been turning a lot of stuff down until just recently. What you guys probably don't know, unless you've heard me say it on the channel before, is I turn down like 80 or 90% of the gear I get offered. I get emails, literally, I promise you, every single day of some company, so whether it's a startup or a very established company, whether it's some Chinese Amazon thing, or whether it is some like household name wanting me to do content on their products, or at least wanting to send me something to try out. And I tell at least 70% of them, no, I don't even want to try it out. And then a bunch of stuff shows up, and I probably only make videos on half the gear that is currently, that shows up at my front door. And you can tell because I will, not all the time, but I'll post an Insta story tagging the company as I'm unboxing something, just like, hey, I'm checking this out. And then if you never see a video on that thing, it's because I didn't find it useful enough 
or I didn't feel that it it filled a hole in my workflow or solved a problem for me enough to warrant making a video about. But that doesn't mean that these things wouldn't solve a problem for you or fill a hole in your workflow. And this is the thing that I've been struggling to figure out how to move forward with. Now I watch and consume basically zero musical content. I subscribe to only a small handful of musical channels on YouTube, but my entertainment that I consume is almost entirely like cars and watches and camping and off-roading and like that kind of stuff. Like that that's the kind of content that I consume. So there is a podcast called The Carmudgeon Show which is hosted, uh, one of the hosts is Jason Camisa, who's runs like, I mean, he, he does like the coolest car videos on YouTube, the coolest car reviews on YouTube. But I was listening to this podcast yesterday, and he finally articulated something that I've been trying to figure out how to proceed and how to handle things on this channel going forward. So I want to explain this to you so that way like this is going to be my philosophy moving forward on gear reviews. And it is a fundamental shift in how I'm going to be reviewing gear, which is the only reason why I'm making this video. So Jason is a car enthusiast. He has a bunch of vintage cars and like 90s and 80s cars and he, he only owns cars that are enthusiast cars, which means they have good driving dynamics, they're fun to drive, they have character, and they give you an experience when you're driving them. That's what he looks for in a car. But he's been reviewing cars for Motor Trend forever, and, and like, I mean, he's done a million things. And so he was talking about how do I review a Kia Sorento, no offense to Kia owners out there, he's like, I will never own this car. I have no interest in owning this car. I don't even necessarily like this car. So how do I give an objective, unbiased review based on facts? And as soon as he proposed this idea or this premise on the on this podcast I was listening to, I was instantly like, oh, this this is gonna pertain to me. I can I can feel this. So he goes on to say that how he tries to review stuff is he tries to understand what the company was trying to solve, their objective when they were designing this car. Now you can substitute every time I say car, you can substitute it with piece of gear for how this is working in my head. What were they trying to accomplish when designing this car? And who did they design this car for? And did they do a good job of meeting those objectives and of filling uh, a role for the demographic that this car was designed for? Now, there's a lot of different needs for cars. Sometimes people just need to get from point A to point B. Sometimes they want to get there in style. Sometimes they want to get there quickly. Sometimes they want to get there and enjoy the driving dynamics while they're on their way there. Sometimes they want to get there and they want to be in extreme comfort on their way there. And these are all different objectives that a car company has to set out. But because Jason likes one particular type of car, it means that if he puts his own personal bias into stuff, he will give negative reviews to a lot of cars that are actually not bad cars. They are just not for him. And so he went on to explain how he does this mentally and how he really focuses on understanding what that objective was and understanding who the demographic is, like who, who this car is for. And then he reviews the car and gives it positive and negative remarks based on how well they met that objective or that goal. And I was just like, that's that's exactly what I need to do from here on out. This, this, is, this is how I'm going to review gear from here on out. And it's for a couple reasons. One, I'm gonna run out of reasons to review gear or reasons to try gear. And at heart, I'm a true gear junkie. I wanna try everything. I wanna hear every microphone. I wanna use every compressor. I wanna try every EQ. Like, in my soul, this is what I want, and I have a lot of fun doing this. But as I collect more gear and better gear, and I've hand-selected gear that fills certain roles for me, I find it less necessary to have different gear or to continue to put different gear in my workflow. And I've always been like, if I can't put this piece of gear on a record, then I'm not gonna make a video about it. That's literally been my philosophy since the start of this channel. And we're, I'm kinda getting to the point where that, 
that needs to change a little bit because I'm not going to be able to do gear reviews anymore if I continue down this philosophical path. Now, where this differs for me is Jason will be will still review cars that he actually doesn't like. I'm not going to do that. If I try a piece of gear out and I actually don't like it, or I don't think it's a good piece of gear, or I don't think it's a, a good value, or big one here, I don't think they've met the objective of what they were trying to do, then there will not be a video on this piece, on, on a gear, on this channel. And you can freely disagree with you want. I'm sure plenty of you will in the comments, like always. Uh, there's just no, it doesn't do anyone any good for me to put out a negative review of a piece of gear. It just, it doesn't do the company any good. It doesn't do me any good. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. And so why would I do that on a piece of gear that I don't like or that I would never recommend to someone, even if it's not for me? So I think the distinction is I need to get more unbiased about gear and I need to start reviewing gear based on how is it a quality competent product and did the company do the thing they set out to do and if they did that very well, then it's a good piece of gear. And if it's not a good piece, if they didn't do that well, it's not a good piece of gear. And if I can just explain the characteristics of this gear, then some of you are going to fall in love with gear that is not for me. And I want to be better about serving you and helping you find the right gear for you and for your workflow and for your setup and for your ears and for your wants and desires and for your problems that you're trying to solve. There are links down below for every piece of gear that I use as in every video. And those links do go to Sweetwater. Sweetwater is sponsoring this video. We're gonna talk more about my reviews in a second. But I just wanna say thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. And uh, anytime you guys need any piece of musical gear at all, you can jump on any one of my videos, click on any one of the links, and then purchase anything that you need costs you nothing extra and it helps me continue to make videos like this and helps me continue to show you guys new and interesting and unique pieces of gear. So thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video and thanks to you guys for using those links anytime you need to purchase anything at all. Now I have a ton of gear videos coming up uh, and some of them I'm very, very excited about and a couple of them I'm not sure it's gonna fill any sort of role for me personally. So I just want you guys to know moving forward that one, I will never put a piece of gear that I don't like on this channel. Two, I will never do a video on a piece of gear just because I've been paid to make a video on a piece of gear. That will never happen on this channel because honestly, like I can just do videos like this. I don't need to do the gear review in order to get paid. So that, that's just not a thing. I get paid the same whether it's on a piece of gear or whether it's not on a piece of gear. And honestly, the gear videos are, like the microphone videos in particular, microphone videos take so much more effort and so much more energy and so much more time to make a video on a microphone that it, it, I, I really have to at least respect what it is in order to consider making a video on it. But there's a whole bunch of gear videos coming up. It's that time of year, lots of gears coming out or lots of gears finally shipping for the first time. And uh, so there's lots of that coming up. And I just, I want you to know that uh, I'm gonna make this fundamental shift and I'm gonna do my very best to just be completely unbiased with these reviews. And I'm gonna do my very best to just explain the characteristics and show their strengths and their weaknesses of each piece of gear. So that way you can decide if it's for you. And uh, that was a long rant about something that some of you may not care about at all. But I feel like I needed to document this change in how I'm doing this. Again, I'm not even a fan of people that are like making videos about, oh, I'm going to start doing this now. But I, f I felt like this was an important one because I, I want people to understand this shift, this change. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support, as always. Uh, I really appreciate you guys being here, and I really appreciate all the support that you've given me over these years. And uh, I hope that I continue to be useful and entertaining to you guys. So we'll see you in the next one. Peace.